Wonguang University Hospital has established the only quintuple emergency medical system in Korea to introduce and operate a regional cardiovascular disease center, a regional trauma center, a regional emergency medical center, emergency medical helicopters, and the first multi-person hyperbaric oxygen treatment chamber in the Honam region. It reaches severe trauma patients and emergency patients within the golden time. In addition, as a disaster-based hospital, we are doing our best to provide the best medical services to promote and protect the health of local residents not only in Iksan but also the west coast of Jeollabukdo and Chungcheongnamdo. With the support of the Jeollabukdo Provincial Office, we have opened the hyperbaric oxygen treatment room within the Regional Emergency Medical Center in January 2020. Specialized medical staff are on standby 24 hours a day to provide hyperbaric oxygen treatment to patients. Many divers who search for missing people in the water suffer from decompression sickness, gas leakage accidents such as carbon monoxide, which is caused by malfunction of the fire site and heating equipment in winter. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is the treatment used for patients in such accidents. Let me explain hyperbaric oxygen therapy in more detail. This video was produced to help patients understand and receive hyperbaric oxygen therapy performed at Wonguang University Hospital by explaining the principles and effects of hyperbaric oxygen therapy, treatment process, and precautions. We hope that it will help more patients to receive treatment safely and recover quickly. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is performed through a specially designed high-pressure chamber. The atmospheric pressure in normal setting is one atmosphere, but after raising the pressure to two to three atmosphere in the chamber, depending on the type of disease, 100% oxygen is given to the patient. Then the amount of dissolved oxygen in the body's plasma increases by about 10 to 15 times, and the high concentration of oxygen is maintained in the capillaries and tissues of the body. In the case of gas poisoning, such as carbon monoxide poisoning, the therapy improves the hypoxia in the tissues and helps discharge harmful gases. In the case of decompression sickness, it reduces the volume of nitrogen gas and promotes its discharge, thereby showing a therapeutic effect. In addition, it is used as a very effective treatment for acute or chronic wounds that are not easily healed by general treatments by promoting anti-inflammatory activity, secretion of growth factors, calligan synthesis, and generation of new blood vessels, thereby helping the body's inflammatory response, generation of damaged tissues, and recovery. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy has been proven to be effective in various emergency and chronic diseases. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is covered by the National Health Insurance of Korea. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is used for diseases such as decompression sickness, gas poisoning such as carbon monoxide, diabetic foot, burns, Berger's disease, tissue necrosis, after radiation therapy, intractable osteomyelitis, intracranial abscess, after resin conjugation, skin grafting or flap. In addition, even for acute or sudden hearing loss or emergency diseases such as acute central retinal artery obstruction that occurred in the past 24 hours, early performance of hyperbaric oxygen therapy can lead to improvement in hearing and vision. In addition, hyperbaric oxygen therapy is also applied to sequelae of cerebral infarction, traumatic brain injury, spinal nerve injury, intestinal obstruction, and malignant tumors. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is performed in a high-pressure chamber, specially designed to create a high-pressure environment. There are multi-person chambers and single-person chambers. We have multi-person chambers that can accommodate up to 12 people and single-person chambers where individual patients can receive treatment alone. In a multi-person chamber, each person is treated while seated. In a single-seat chamber, treatment is performed while the patient is lying down and relaxing. When treatment starts, the air pressure rises. After the pressurization process is over, the target pressure of two to three atmospheres is reached depending on the type of disease. Then, 100% oxygen is supplied to the patient through a dedicated mask. The patient breathes naturally while inhaling a high concentration of oxygen in the chamber. 
This oxygenates the systemic blood vessels and tissues, resulting in therapeutic effects. The treatment takes about two hours depending on the type of disease. After re-evaluation, up to 14 sessions or more can be offered depending on the degree of recovery. During the pressurization process, the eardrum may deform due to the difference in pressure between the body and the outside, leading to ear pain. This is a temporary symptom and can be prevented by learning how to maintain pressure equilibrium through simple training beforehand, such as swallowing, drinking water, yawning, and practicing Valsalva maneuver. Treatment time is long, about two hours, and access to the outside is restricted during this time. So be sure to go to the bathroom before treatment. In addition, you may have dry mouth, so you need to drink enough fluids. Also, there is a temperature change during pressurization and decompression, so you can ask the medical staff to adjust the temperature if necessary. To prevent fire, flammable items such as lighters, electronic devices with built-in batteries, mobile phones, and metal items are not allowed inside the chamber. Books and newspapers are permitted, so you can read them as needed during treatment. Treatment may be limited if you have claustrophobia or untreated pneumothorax. In addition, if you have any symptoms or medical history, including fever, cold, acute otitis media, high blood pressure, perforation of the eardrum, or epilepsy, you must consult the medical staff beforehand. That was hyperbaric oxygen therapy, how it works, its effects, treatment process, and precautions. Thank you.